human resource management role has uh, a lot many relationships or many aspects of it relate to the policy and legal requirements of uh, of doing hiring in a in a public marketplace. So let's talk. This lecture talks about the, some of those legal and policy issues. Legal constraints and regulations are present in most phases of recruitment and, and the selection process. A violation of these regulations can result in lawsuits or fines. Therefore, managers should be aware that these restrict, of these restrictions to avoid legal problems. Some of the laws affecting human resource management are discussed here in this section. Because one law, because one law provides all areas of human resource management, we'll take a quick look at it now, and that's called Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It prohibits discrimination in employment. It also created the Equal Opportunity, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the EEOC, which is a federal agency dedicated to increase job opportunities for women and also for minorities and it eliminates job discrimination based upon race, religion, color, sex, national origin, or handicap. Other laws affecting HRM include the America with Disabilities Act, which prevents discrimination against disabled persons and people with, and, and also classifies people with AIDS as handicapped and consequently prohibits using a positive AIDS test as a reason to deny an applicant employment. The Age Discrimination and Employment Act specifically outlaws discrimination against age based on age. It focuses on banning hiring, hiring practice that discriminate against people 40 years old and older. The Equal Pay Act mandates that men and women who do equal work must receive the same wage. Wage differences are acceptable only if they are attributed to seniority performance or qualifications in some way. In the United States, the typical full-time employee, female employee earns 17.2% less than the average full-time employee. So there's still work to be done in this area. HRM includes all the hiring practices and policies that we've described. There's also aspects of human resource management which are related to developing human resources, and that's what we'll pick up in the next letter, next lecture, human resource development or HRD.